हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज डिवीजन ऑपरेशंस ऑन अ नंबर नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 11.1 व्हिच इज अवेलेबल इन आवर नवनीत डाइजेस्ट ऑन पेज नंबर 240 ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 11.1 सो 11.1 एक्सरसाइज में आप देखेंगे सो so, यहां पे है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन है 99099 ओके 99099 डिवाइडेड बाय 99 तो इसका मैं आपको सॉल्व करके दिखाता हूं बहुत से जगह पे जीरो कब आता है ये बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स थोड़ा सा मिस्टेक कर देते हैं सो हम रेगुलर मेथड से हम इसको सॉल्व करते हैं हम डायरेक्ट ओरली हम सॉल्व नहीं करेंगे इसको टू अंडरस्टैंड टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रॉपर्ली सो 99 यहां पे दो डिजिट है तो हम भी यहां पे दो डिजिट सेलेक्ट करेंगे कैन बी डिविजिबल यस सो 99 वन्स आर 99 ओके सो दिस इज द जीरो देन वन डिजिट वी विल ब्रिंग इट हियर जीरो कैन बी डिविजिबल नो सो वी विल केप्ट वन so again one zero then next digit we will carry here so it is a 99 so 99 divided by 99 possible yes so it's a 99 ones are so it is a zero in a remainder so quotient is 1001 so this is given in option number two so i hope one one digits we are bringing so to bring the another if not getting any properly division or cannot be in multiple then we have to bring the here the zero in quotient and we will bring the next digit okay so that is the fundamental so we will see the question number two same like this one so 44,440 divided by 22 okay so 22 2 are 44 okay so yeah this will be the zero now we will bring the next four here okay so it can be no because here the two digit here the one digit so we will keep here the zero then next digit we will be bring here which is a four so it can be divisible yes so it is also 22 2 are 44 okay so here the zero and the next digit we will bring here which is also a zero means the zero reminder so that will be directly we can write down here because 22 multiplied by zero and zero we will get okay so that is a logic every number can be divided uh, uh, multiple by the zero we will get the zero answer okay so the answer is 2020 this is given in option number four now question number three if 11,649 is divided by a certain number the remainder is 1 okay so the number is here 11649 after division of this certain number the remainder is a 1 okay this quotient also we don't know but the number is given means this dividend is given okay so remainder is 1 means of to get the remainder 0 here the number should be 8 because the here the 1 so we will subtract the 1 from here so the number will be 11 1648 okay so this certain number or we can say the divisor can be divide this number complete division with a remainder zero okay so here if you see the total means addition here the all the digits if you make the addition of all the digits that is a 20 when 20 is divided by the 4 and the 5 okay or we can say the 2 and the 5 okay 8 cannot be divided by the 5 so that's why there is a possibility of the 4 okay so from the, our option there are the 12 15 16 and 18 so 4 is a number which can divide it, which can divide the 12 and the 16 but cannot divide the 15 and 18 so either 12 or either 16 but if you check for the 12 so for the 12 if you make the division for of this number means 11 6 4 8 and divided by this 12 so 12 8 is 108 so balance is 8 and here the 4 so 12 84 is get after this bringing this digit okay so 84 means 12 7 is 84 okay so this is the 0 and then if we bring this 8 here so again the 8 is remainder okay which cannot be divided by the 12 so the 12 also should not be there means the possibility of the 16 and 16 is given in option number 3 okay and we can check or we can cross check this 16 also and this can be divided by the 16 
so the option number 3 is the correct one now question number 4 which of the following product is not equal to 14000 and 40 divided by 60 okay so which cannot be means first of all we have to find out the division of this 14000 and 40 divided by this 60 okay so 6 gone and 6 gone then we will take out this for the 6 6 6 2 is 12 okay so 2 balance after this 0 bring 20 comes so 6 3 is 18 okay so 2 balance and then 4 means 6 4 is 24 so 0 so the quotient is 234 so we have to check from the all the options which cannot be 234 okay so product should not be comes 234 okay so we will check all the options one by one you you know option number 156 multiply by 4 option number 2 39 multiply by 6 option number 3 26 multiply by 4 and option number 4 18 multiply by 13 okay if we calculate all these options or we can say all the multiplications this option number 1 is not 234 because we required the uh, 234 because as per the example and all are getting the 234 so that's why our incorrect or we can say the not equal to 234 is the this product and so option number one is the correct one now question number five what is the remainder when 5880 is divided by 48 5880 divided by 48 so what will be the here so here ones are then 10 balance means 108 so 48 twos are 96 so 12 balance 48 twos are then 12 balance means 120 and 48 twos are again 96 so 120 minus 96 means remainder is a 24 so 24 is given in option number 2 now question number 6 what will be the quotient if 13,230 is divided by 54. So let's take the division. 13,230 divided by 54. 54. Okay. So 54 to the 108. Okay. So after this subtraction, so 24 should be there. And if we carry 3 here, so okay. So 240. So for this one, for, uh, 54 four uh, four the because 50 uh, multiplied by four it will take the 200 and if we multiply by five so 50 multiplied by five it will cross the 250 so 54 always be crossed to 250 so we will make, make the multiplication with four so 54 multiplied by four means 216 okay so after this subtraction there is a 3, 13, 7 and 3 minus 1, 2. Okay, 27. So, let's carry this 0 here. So, it will uh, 270. For the 270 means 54 multiply by 5. So, it will the uh, 270 means remainder is a 0. So, quotient will be 245. And this is given in option number 3. So, for the question number 6, option number 3 is a correct one. Now, Question number 7. In an example on division, the divisor was 27, the quotient 44 and the remainder 19. What was the dividend? Okay. So, as per the rule, so dividend is equals to divisor. So, I am directly writing here dividend okay, is equals to divisor, divisor multiply by quotient okay, and then addition of the remainder okay so divisor we know as per our uh, given example the divisor is 27 and the quotient is 44 okay and the remainder is 19 okay so plus 19 so 27 multiply by 44 so we will make the multiplication 27 multiply by 4 is equals to uh, 108 so 8 here 10 carry so 27 multiply by 4 108 plus 10 means 118 so 11 18 plus now 19 so after addition means here the 12 and then 12 7 okay 200 1207 so 1207 is given in option number 4 so for question number 7 option number 4 is the correct one now question number 8 
119 divided by 7 is equals to 17. So as per this one, we have to solve 11,900 divided by 170. Okay, so as we have given 119 divided by 7 is equals to 17. Okay, so, so same meaning if we divide this number by 17, the number also, the all we can say the answer will be the 7. Okay, 119 divided by 17 is equals to 7. This is also the meaning same. Okay, so as per this one, 11,900 okay divided by 170 is equals to how much okay now here what is the difference in this one here the multiplication of the 100 okay so 100 multiplied by 119 divided by here also 17 and here 170 what is the difference so multiplication of the 10 so divided by 17 multiplied by this 10 is equals to so we are distributing means 100 whatever that is here multiplied already with this number we are segregate here and 10 also multiplied with the 17 so that's uh, 170 so we are separated that 10 so 17 multiplied by 10 okay so this is in horizontal I just write down in a vertical or we can say in numerator and denominator format so for your understanding purpose so 119 divided by 17 multiplied by 10 okay so now this division already we know what is this division this is the 7 okay so and this 100 divided by 10 means 0 1 0 1 only the 10 so 10 multiplied by this is the 7 this answer for this division is the 7 already given so the final answer is 10 multiplied by 7 means 70 okay so 70 is given in option number two so for question number eight option number two is the correct one now question number nine if the divisor of the division okay so just I, I write down here divisor of the division means 5656 divided by eight is the reduced by one okay divisor means this eight should be reduced by the one then how much will be the quotient increases already we have seen in sol example number four is the same like this one okay now that was the seven and increasing by one now here instead of the seven here given the eight and decreasing by the one like this term. the number in the numerator always be same okay so now as per this condition the difference we have to find out means what is the quotient is increase okay so of course 8 divided by here means the number or the quotient will be reduced as compared to the if we divide 5 6 5 6 by after this reducing by 1 this denominator by 1 means 8 minus 1 means 7 okay so whatever the quotient here this is the more than this one because 8 is more 7 is less and this is divisor okay so numerator are the same denominator are the different different in that one for the comparison purpose the denominator the number in a denominator which is greater the result or we can say the product uh, quotient okay that will be the getting the lesser okay so we will decrease from this and then this one okay so 5 6 5 6 by 7 minus 5656 divided by 8 so this is a common so we will take out this one so 500 and 5656 multiply 1 by 7 minus 1 by 8 now lcm of 7 and 8 is the 56 so 56 here for 56 here 8 multiply same multiply by 8 on a numerator also so 8 here for here for to make this 56 multiply by this 7 so in denominator and same mul 7 multiply by in numerator also so minus 7 okay so multiply by this 5 6 5 6 so 8 minus 7 1 so 1 by 56 okay and this is a multiplication so 5 6 5 6 now this is the we can divide 56 ones are 56 ones are after this no any digit directly we can uh, means balance from this one so directly one digit we cannot take so we will take the zero after this one six will be attached or we can say the six carry with the five so 56 so 56 ones are 56 ones are so final answer is 101 okay so we can say so quotient will be increased by 101 so that is given in option number four for question number nine now question number 10 
find the incorrect statement okay incorrect statement we have to find out from the given alternatives so alternative number one when any number is divided by one quotient is the same number of course same if we divide any number by one the result or we can say the quotient is always be the same number so option number one is the correct but we require incorrect so next question option number two when any number is divided by itself the quotient is zero no this is false when any number is divided by itself the quotient should be one but here mentioning zero so option number two is incorrectly so possibly this option number two is our correct option but we will check for three and four so option number three when any number is divided by itself quotient is one yes this is a correctly so but we require the incorrect one so option number three is a incorrect for our question now question option number four when remainder is added to the product of divisor and quotient one gets dividend yes correct this is also as our formula so option number four is the correct but as per our question we require the incorrect one so we are find outing incorrect is option number two okay out of the options four so option number two is the correct for our question 10 Okay, thank you.